Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Praveen Kumar Sriram. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer, Author, and currently working as a Solutions Architect in Azure. In our last videos, we have learned how to create a key vault, and then we created a key as well as a secret. And while creating key vault, we have also created access policies, starting with one, an access policy to myself. But definitely in real world scenarios, you will have to create multiple access policies. Now one quick way is to create access policies by just copy pasting this particular area and then changing the object ID of the other user to whom you would like to provide access. But this is not a good practice because what if you want to give access to multiple users or multiple groups definitely copy pasting is not a good idea so we are going to optimize this or refactor this code in such a way that we will use a loop so that we don't have to make changes to the bicep code every time there is a new requirement of providing yeah. now let's remove the code that i have just added and i will also remove the previous code that was added we need to ensure that the access policy is an empty array if we remove the entire access policy it will throw an error because it's required so now the way we are going to add access policy is by adding a new resource block specific to access policies Is exactly similar to how we have added keys and secrets. Search for key vault and then here you go. Choose the access policies resource type and then choose the latest API and then provide a name. Uh, here the name is a little different for access policies. Uh, we are going to add access policies to key vault okay. the allowed values are a little different we need to provide a name called add or replace or delete now there is an error because it's a child resource it expects its parent symbolic name and finally we need to provide the access policy array so now we don't want to again hard code the access policies. Instead, we need to get it from parameters. So let me create a parameter. I'll scroll up and go to parameter section, create a new parameter for access policies. Its type is array. And now this will come from a parameter file. We are going to pa add a parameter file soon for now i'll just create an array here so that you understand how to create an array right here later i will move this to a parameter file so now one thing you need to understand is the access policy must contain object id let me bring up the old code or like i have pulled back the old code the old code wherein we hard coded the entire access policies, the first access policy and the second access policy. Now if you observe clearly, the only thing that is changing is the object ID. In every project, there would be some rules wherein you have to specify what permissions you must give to each and every user or to any identity. So here, the only one that is changing in is the object id so this should not be hard coded like this instead we should dynamically pass them from an array that's exactly what we are going to do so our array will contain only the object ids okay so here we are going to specify the values of array so array of objects is object one 
and then object two like this. Now the only item that it would contain is the object ID. So this is the first object, and this is the second object of the array. Of course, I am going to change this value very soon. So now this access policy contains two objects, wherein the object ID should be different, right? So now. I don't need this. I just added this to demonstrate that everything is same except the object ID. Okay, so let me delete. I've deleted the objects that were hard coded. So now this is being used. There is an error. It says it's declared multiple times. So the name of this access policy and the symbolic name is same, so it won't allow. So maybe I will just add P. P stands for parameter, and there it is gone. So now we need to iterate through this array here while creating the resources. Let's do that now. So it's very simple. All we need is within the array we need to specify the for loop for access policy for each access policy that is that is available in p access policy array and then you put a colon and then basically colon means it's kind of equal and then create an object like this and then you specify object this object ID should come from access policy dot object ID and then permissions this is an object and inside the permissions we can give all the permissions that are required in our case maybe we will start with secrets which is an array and we would like to give get list and maybe set if at all required set means the people to whom you are giving access will be able to create a new sequence that's it and finally we also need to specify tenant id subscription dot tenant ids it's good now, let me check if I can format this properly. Select the entire content, right click, and format. Okay, now this looks much cleaner. Now, save this file, and finally, we have to change this particular thing. I have copy pasted. So, now I need to look for the object ID for another user in Microsoft. And try ID users. I would like to pick BBRS from H. Babu and choose his object ID and paste it here. And now, before we run, let's go back to Keyword. So now I am in access policies of our keyword. Currently, only my details, only I have access to keys and secrets. Right. So now when I run this code, I should see Ramesh account as well here. Okay. Let's quickly run the bicep code. Take some time, I will come back once the execution is successful. The execution is complete. Let's go to Azure Management Portal. Let me refresh. Refresh doesn't work, so let me do hard refresh.
and here you go this is bvs ramesh babu's id i can double confirm by clicking on edit and here i can see ramesh babu's name that's it this is how we can dynamically add multiple users uh, in access policies and provide the required permission thanks for watching if you have any comments please feel free to give your feedback in the comment section thanks for watching bye bye